change my life. I converted to Islam in 2013 and uh, the very first uh, advice that I got was from my imam and he said don't change everything about your life tonight. Islam is not uh, meant to be hard, it's supposed to be easy for you. So tonight you took one step, Allah will tell you when it's time to take the next step. And so I held on to that advice. He also told me uh, the first thing is to learn to pray. So I worked very hard to learn how to do this. Um, the second thing that I had to do was to let go of the idea that I was in control of everything because I had always worked very hard to make my own way, make my own decisions. Uh, I also took all the um, awards for myself. Uh, I didn't see um, my successes as gifts from Allah. I saw them that that was the results of my hard work. And so uh, I had to change the way I thought. Uh, and once I let go of that and understood that everything was a gift from Allah, blessings and hard times as well, then I began to see Allah in everything and everything I did. So um, that was probably the biggest difference for me, the biggest difference and also the hardest thing that I still struggle with because especially here in America, um, you're supposed to go to college, get a job, be successful, make lots of money and um, you take all the credit for that when actually you're not in charge of anything. Allah is the one that decides and he opens doors for you and then you must ask him for the strength to go through these doors and so that's probably the biggest thing for me is learning to let go and to let Allah uh, plan my life for me. Another thing that that changed for me was having a connection with Allah. Uh, I was a Catholic before and as a Catholic you have a priest in between you and God, you don't actually uh, feel that connection. You can pray, but if you want forgiveness, you have to ask the priest, and the priest asks God on your behalf. And so now, my connection to Allah is only up to me. It's uh, how often I want to pray, how often I want to do the things that I know pleases Allah. And so, um, I lost some control as far as. Uh, the plans about my life but I gained some too because now my connection with Allah is solely up to me. Um, also in my personal life I stopped doing some things that I knew were destructive uh, to myself and so that changed as well. Um, I became a better mom. I became a better daughter to my parents. I became a better sister a better friend to the people that I knew. Um, my professional life, uh, I'm a teacher. I've been a teacher for about 21 years and at preschool, so these children are four years old. And so as far as that is concerned, um, I feel a, more of a higher purpose, not only just to teach them, and but to represent myself as a Muslim so that when they go out into the world, maybe not right away but maybe sometime in their life if someone says something negative about a Muslim they will say no I don't think so I knew a Muslim once she was my teacher and she was kind and she taught me things and so this is my hope as well so uh, Islam gives me the strength to do that every day uh, Alhamdulillah I have not been uh, ever treated unkindly or unfairly uh, because I'm a Muslim. Um, also the families that I work with, I'm also an example for them. Um, I always leave myself very open. Uh, sometimes they will ask me, can I ask you a question? And I always answer, sure, you can ask me anything. If I don't know the answer, I know someone who does. And so I will uh, follow up with you. And so I think being open and knowing that um, I'm willing to answer their questions also is a, a good example for them. I try to always think about in the back of my mind, if 
our blessed Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was standing beside me, what would he want me to do? And so that's what I tried to do, always. So um, two years ago, I was nominated for the third time for the Teacher of Year, and I actually received this award, and so I was able to accept this award um, as a covered woman uh, in front of many, many people who were not, and it made me so proud so proud to be a Muslim and to be there and alhamdulillah this uh, this award was not from for me this was for Allah I had worked very hard but he gave me the strength to do it another way that um, Allah has uh, changed my life is I prayed for two years for a husband uh, I just wanted someone that could guide me someone that would lead me in my faith and be my partner and subhanallah uh, in uh, January of 2017 um, I got married and um, being married before to a Christian and being married now to a Muslim uh, I can tell you the difference is very great uh, I'm not considered property uh, I'm considered a blessing and he is mine and we have a very peaceful life together so those are the things that have changed in my life aside of the way I dress and the way I eat the most important thing for me is that I have peace in my heart and my mind and my soul because Allah is always with me I have to tell you a quick story and then I'm gonna close it uh, if you have a question for me you can leave it in the comments and I'll try to answer it later um, when I first became a Muslim and I was learning to pray this was a very peaceful time for me. I was very intented on what I was saying and how I was doing it. And my son, uh, he was about nine then, he would come and stand behind me and put his hand on my shoulder. And I would finish and he would watch me. And then also, subhanAllah, a year after I converted, he reverted as well. But one day I was praying and I felt this hand and I thought he was there. And so I finished my salah and when I turned, he wasn't there. Um, I felt like this was the hand of Allah. And so I know in my heart that he is always with me. And to me, that is the most special thing about being a Muslim, is that he's always, always, always with me. Allah um, Akbar. So that is uh, the way that Islam has changed my life. It has made me a better person, and it has made me want to be a better person tomorrow than I am today. And so, um, certainly, uh, the letting go of things and knowing that Allah has a plan uh, has made me able to see my life in a different way, as a gift and not a burden. And that is my wish for you also. I pray that you will uh, always be in the mercies and graces of the all-knowing, the all-forgiving, and that you will have a peaceful day. So, uh, Masalama, Allah Hafiz. Bye, y'all.